now similarly going for case number 3 case number 3 assuming only only Cr2O7 to minus ions are active ions are active so in this case the graph will not start from the point 0 it will start from the residual current itself now first for this process you need to take lead ions in acetate solution of sodium acetate we will take it in a pH of of about 4 with acidic buffer with buffer sodium made of sodium acetate and acetic acid so the acetate ion will consume the pb2 plus forming lead acetate and consuming all the pb2 plus in the solution since there are no pb2 plus ions in the solution there will be no current of pb2 plus before the equivalence point so the current will directly start from not from the diffusion current but for the residual current ir with the volume that you are adding now what happens is when you start adding cr2 or 72 minus this particular sol will start to decompose and as soon the pb2 plus ion gets free they will react with cr2 or 72 minus and will again get consumed and because of this this line will run parallel showing no change in diffusion current because the lead ions are not in the solution now after a while when all the lead plus ions which you have freed from the lead acetate will for since now converted into the salt form addition of any further cr207 will increase the diffusion current so based on the empirometric graph where the residual current is being processed or what will be the equivalent volume of the titan that you are using we can predict the equivalence point for a uh, for experimental setup so since current is our major basis to find the equivalence point that's why it is called as empirometry so this was all about empirometry for today in case of any doubt please add it to the comment section or any new topic that you want us to make the video that's all for now thank you for today